I mean, really, you know, I mean, just as an outsider looking in, it's a mess. It, it's getting increasing attention at the, um, I actually was at a congressional briefing two weeks ago in Washington on this issue, uh, on the issue of international abduction and the interplay with family violence. Um, and what people need to recognize is the largest number of documented international parental abductions between U.S. and Mexico. It, and it's partly because uh, most, more recently our immigration policy is such to deport so many people that uh, it breaks up families. And it, it might mean in many of my cases the mother will send the children down for a visit and the father won't return them. That's a wrong, wrongful retention, so we can still invoke the Hague in those instances, the Hague Convention, and do we do. Do you ever tell a parent, don't? <laughs> I mean, is there a situation oh, yes. where a parent should not oh, send yes. the child to oh, Mexico? Oh, absolutely. And, and one thing that we've seen, many people who do send their children will often um, send them with a notarized letter allowing them to travel with the third party or giving them permission to uh, cross an international border. Um, they have to put a time deadline on that because that's been used against us in Mexican courts to say, oh, she relinquished her child to this person. Um, they, we absolutely would, they go to a local notary and just get a notarized document who says, we, you know, my child can travel to Mexico. And unless you say, um, for a visit of this duration, you'll frequently have judges in Mexico use that as an excuse to say, well, she relinquished the custody. Yeah. So, and, and that's a defense to the Hague if you consent to the child moving to the other country. Right. So, yeah, there's, there are definitely um, things that people should and shouldn't do. Um, yeah, I, you know, I, I have to say that there's probably um, the vast majority of people do this type of thing. There's no problem. So it's just the, the what it could have, should have afterwards. You don't want to be the person, um, like one of my clients, who will forever um, beat herself up about letting her five-year-old son visit with his father in Matamoros for a few hours while she went Christmas shopping because that was the last time she saw him in her custody. She's been able to, she went down after we told her the amount of time it would take, most likely, we didn't say six years, it's usually at least six months for us. It would take that amount of time to recover the child. Um, she, you know, terminated our services and uh, went to self-help and got beaten up in Mexico. Um, and did not have her child. Um, so uh, we've since, we're still involved in that case. Um, her s father of her child is a member of the criminal element and uh, has had influence over the courts as a result. So that's been a very, very difficult case. Sure. Yeah, and, and talk about beating yourself up over a couple of hours to go Christmas shopping for your child. Uh, yeah, it, mm, so.